What's Aloha Friday without some music? And we have something jazzy in store for you. Yeah, local, a local saxophonist who's bringing us the smooth sounds in honor of National Saxophone Day. <laughs> Today is National Saxophone Day, which means we are providing all of you with some jazzy blues. Here to help us get into the mood, we have saxophonist Rockford Holmes. Rockford, happy National Saxophone Day, man. Oh, thanks very much. I, I appreciate that. Okay. Let us know a little bit about yourself. Tell us, tell us who you are and how did you start playing the saxophone? What got you involved? Uh, I started clarinet in, fourth, in the fourth grade. I found out that to be in jazz band, you had to play saxophone. So I, I thought, well, I'll just start playing saxophone too. So I did. I uh, gratefully, my, the band director uh, at my junior high school was a saxophone player. So I purchased one of his lesser saxophones and um, just that's how it all started. Uh, and to be perfectly honest with you, I really didn't embrace saxophone until I was in my early 20s. I, I was just, you know, I was a clarinet player. And then after that, I, I really got into flute and I was playing a lot of flute professionally. Now I play all three professionally, but yeah, I, I, I just, I, now I love saxophone. I, I, I truly do. But, but yeah, it was, I was kind of like a late comer to saxophone. That's funny how like a lot of people, they get introduced to something and usually at first it's not one of their favorite things to do. And then later on down the line, they're like, wait, I kind of like this. <laughs> Yeah. What is your favorite part about playing saxophone? It is saxophone. I mean, come on. <laughs> so many emotions that, that come along with the playing. And, you know, if it's a bluesy thing, you can make people smile or laugh. Or, you know, if it's a, if it's a sad song, you can, you know, you can really make, you can feel, you can feel the difference in the room. Wow, this is, I had no idea I was going to enjoy that this much. You've played in multiple venues. Tell our viewers, where have you played? My, my very first job here was with a band called Johnny's Rock Society. When I moved here, I was living in Waikiki. There was a trumpet player, a lovely friend of mine who has passed now, Mr. Mike Morita. And then he called me one day and said, you know, did I want to do this job? And it was in a Korean nightclub. And one job just led to another, led to another, led to another. I got an opportunity to audition at the Holly Kulani uh, Lures Lounge, and I auditioned. And um, at the time, you couldn't play saxophone in there uh, because the general manager thought saxophone was too loud for the lounge. So I thought, okay. So I played clarinet and flute, and that was that was okay for me too. And then uh, manager changed, and then saxophone was okay. And I, uh, you know, up until COVID nineteen hit, I was in Lures Lounge five nights a week. I think I did about five or six shows with Michael McDonald, too. And Michael McDonald is is one of those things where it's like he was he was maybe 10 feet away from me playing piano. And I was I was it was just one saxophone. So so I was playing and and it's like he starts singing and it's just like, oh, my God, that's Michael McDonald right there. <laughs> Rockford, you've performed with some of the biggest names in the industry, and it's awesome to know that even you get starstruck in front of them. I mean, you're so talented. Now, if anybody wanted to keep up with you and your talent on the saxophone, is there a website or a social media account that they could follow? Yeah, just follow me on Facebook. It's Rockford J. Holmes. And yeah, friend me, stalk me, whatever's comfortable. <laughs> we love it, Rockford. We love you. And we love the tones and the tunes of saxophones. So everybody here to play you out into the rest of your day, we present Rockford J. Holmes. <laughs>